Hello people, I'm Vito, and welcome back to Star Fox Adventures with Robberlink. Hello. Alright, where we last left off, we just completed this area, the walled city, and defeated the Red Eye King. And nabbed his spellstone. So I guess we can head on out of here. Oh, is that how we fly? Press A, okay. <laughs> Press A to fly. You press A button and Fox just flies off the screen <laughs> on his own. Yeah. Uh. yeah, so I think I I actually paid attention because I forgot to when we were playing last episode, but it took about 12 fuel cells to get here, so I wonder if it's taking increments of four. Like if it took four for the first, eight for the second, and then 12 this time. Hmm. The King Earthwalker is Fox, you saved him from those blood crazed red eyes. Take this spellstone to the volcano force point. It will close the seal at the volcano, and you will be one step closer to bringing the planet back together. Get to it, Fox. You know the way. Pepper out. Seems like they were just, uh. Fly through one door ring to reach dinosaur planet. Seems like there were too many tourists, perhaps. They kept taking photos with the red eyes. That's how their eyes got red. Ah. Too many photos, and as we all know, if your eyes are red, that means you're evil. Huh. Fascinating. <laughs> too much tourism causes people to become evil. You know, I can't, I can't disagree on that. <laughs> I think I've read that, uh, like, people who live in Paris aren't really enthusiastic about tourists because, you know, everyone wants to visit Paris. I'm not sure why. Is it just Eiffel Tower and supposedly it's like the city of love or something? Probably. I mean, you could call any place that. Is Would it actually hold true in any capacity for Paris? I, mean, I guess if it's got a reputation... Does it have a reputation for anything that you can't do anywhere else? <laughs> you can stand in front of the Eiffel Tower? <laughs> you know what? You got me there. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm not a travel person, so I don't know. I don't get the appeal. Yeah, like, I enjoy learning about new places, real or, you know, in fiction. I'm comfortable just reading about it. I'm pretty dead inside. I don't care either way. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Back we are. Okay. Uh, oh, yeah. There was a comment on a few episodes back. Uh, yeah, a few episodes back that uh, someone, I think, Balthazar, in the comments pointed out that apparently Fox is left-handed, and I did not actually notice that until the comment pointed it out. But yeah, he is using his left hand for everything, I think. And of course, the ability gets unequipped when we start a new frickin' episode. I'm trying to remember. What? Was he left-handed in uh, Star Fox Assault? I do not remember. But it does make me think back to uh, some of the Zelda games where I think it's inconsistent because they're technically different links or something. Yeah, I'm pretty sure... Um, Was it Twilight Princess or... Wind Waker? I, I know in Twilight where Princess... Where he's left-handed? Well, in Twilight Princess, it depends on which version of the game you have, because it's on... Really? I think it's on both GameCube and Wii. So, in one version, it's flopped. Like, the entire game. Wait. Twilight Princess? I think so. When was that on a GameCube? Like, I think it was released around the launch of the Wii, so there was, like, a version for the GameCube as well, I think. Huh. I don't remember exactly, but I think that's how it went. But yeah, the entire game for one version is flipped. And I think it's flipped to make sure it's right-handed on the Wii so that you can use the Wii remote to swing and it feels normal. Ah. <laughs> or looks normal. General Scales huh. has to be stopped. Um, we saved your husband. <laughs> is that a plus? And General Scales has to be stopped. <laughs> All okay, right. Then. <laughs> Duly noted. Also, uh, you could use some work on your animations, your highness. The or only, your lack thereof. The only thing moving are 
your eyes and your mouth. Okay, so yeah, I need to go to the Force Point Temple, which volcano Force Point. Yeah, which would be, I believe, in this direction. I'm processing. Processing. Yeah, I've kind of forgotten which place is which, so I'm lost. Yeah, it was past the the area with the vine things I had to grow, which means it is this way. No, you don't. All right. I'll take your word for it. You're the one playing. Yeah, it took me a minute to actually remember, but then I got it. Yeah, I have to fall down here, then go left. And then not jump too early. Despite my uh, meter dropping. It's like, I'm dying of poison, but I need to be patient. <laughs> I mean, yeah, if you don't want to mess up and make a mistake and then take more time. Do you in like do you inevitably breathe in some poison and does that make you more anxious and make the whole process even harder? <laughs> it's like a whole realistically for most people, probably. <laughs> a vicious cycle that spirals out of control. Alright, so I think the barrels were back when we were leaving here, so they're probably yeah. going to start any moment now. Hello barrels. Yep. Oh, yep, there they are. Oh, well, <laughs> that one took a turn. It's like, you think you're safe there? No, you are not. Ooh. There we go. We're just thinking to, uh... Helldivers 2. Uh, one of the things you can do is call down, uh, sentry guns. That are, like, automated turrets. And, um... They don't check friendly fire. So, so sometimes, uh, so there's one point where I'm like, okay, turret is here. It's shooting enemies that direction. The other direction is completely clear. So I'll go around the turret this way so I don't get shot. And then as I'm moving past, boom. Turret just turns around and shoots me directly. So does it not, sh like, does it not check for just anything between itself and an enemy, or will it just actually shoot at anything that's alive? It only shoots at enemies, but it doesn't care if you're in the way. Okay. At least it doesn't shoot at anything alive. Yeah, it doesn't kill you intentionally. <laughs> it kills you with indifference. <laughs> you know, it's like, I specifically went out of my way to avoid you. What the frick did you see that made you decide to turn right in my direction and shoot me? I don't know, but I thought I saw something. Uh, it hallucinated an enemy behind you just so it could have an excuse to shoot at you. I All swear, right. sometimes it feels like that. Well, there's another useless buffom dad. Yay. How many times do they expect me to die in this game? That they need this many frickin' Bafom Dads. And does the shop sell Bafom Dads too? Probably. Not that I would ever buy any, since I'm frickin' full. Have you used a Bafom Dad? Nope. Yeah, the only the only times you've really like died are when uh you just fell down a pit and that only like hurts you or something. Yeah, or if I had to like redo a section on the speeder bike things. Yeah, or the uh or when you have to sneak past the guards. Yeah. There you are, Tricky. I thought you weren't here for a minute. Oh. Haven't done that move in a bit. All right, so yeah, there was a bit more in here that I wanted to check. Like there was a lower section that I might check once we're inside. All right. That might have some things, I don't know. Maybe some fuel cells or whatever. But for the most part, we've been here, but this will probably still be a slightly different path. Yeah, I don't care about the enemies. <laughs> <laughs> Screw you guys. If you're not stopping me, why should I care? Well, he's still there. <laughs> he he doesn't mind either. It's like, oh, no, nope, never mind. He's in a cutscene. Can't interrupt him. <laughs> uh, 
There we go. Dead. I could use a bit of magic. I don't know if there is any around here. I don't see any. Um, do I just go down? Because I think the upwards part is just something I need for the first time, right? Yeah, I think so. Well, I remember... I thought you went down here as well at one point. Yeah, probably after I went up. Ah. I guess I'll just leave this equipped for now. Probably gonna need it more. Oh. I was hoping you would not just jump in like that. Oh well. Oh, there. Good. Magic. Need that. But yeah, I see stuff down there. Ah. Whatever for, though. Yeah, okay, this is what I was suspecting. This is no longer usable, so I'd have to use this one. And that'll probably open a different door. Oh, maybe I need to go down in order to get over there because there's a wall there. So I might have to go down and around. Ah. Oh. Yeah, because otherwise I might not be able to get up there. Uh, so what do I do exactly to get down there in the first place? Wait, is that... Wait, Wait why are there two doors in that direction? Well, there's the one we came from and the one we went the first time we were here. Oh, okay. And there's the one we're going this time. Uh... I'm just, whoop, wondering how I'm supposed to go down there initially. Can you just... <laughs> Stop. <laughs> Can you just jump down onto one of the platforms, or...? Yeah, maybe. Because I don't see a way over here to climb down. Where would be the safest point to drop? Probably, yeah, around here-ish. Okay, a little over here. Okay, uh, drop. Thank you. Okay, are there any secrets to get? Whoa. Okay, really? <laughs> no one a no one invited you. Okay, now I can use the fire. Where was he? Oh, there you are. Jeez. But yeah, because I was turning the uh the camera, I immediately jumped off as soon as it took me out of the first person view. Why are you back already? Yeah, go frickin' ah. Laugh maniacally. We might need a buffum death for this one. <laughs> eh. Yeah, that took a lot more health than I was expecting. I don't know if it was just the lava or everything. I think it was mostly the lava. Yeah. So is there... Okay, there is a climbable wall here. So I guess I could just go up one way or the other. Hopefully. <laughs> I see you there. Really? You're just gonna camp? Okay, there you go. Okay, I was gonna say boing. Ha, huh, so there was a fuel cell. Alright, you can drop here. Nope, I can't. It's not a ladder. Yeah, I was about to say, it's not a ladder. Of course you can't drop. <laughs> yeah, because it looked like there were more platforms that would have led just to here. So yeah, I guess it doesn't matter unless they don't... No, it looks like they go to the same place. You could just kill them. They only do, like, the smallest amount of damage. I think it's better just kill them and get it over with when they get close to you. Well, when I swing at them, it usually misses. True. <laughs> All right. By the way, did you end up listening to that music I sent you that I thought sounded similar to the the menu? Um... I'm trying to remember. I'm not sure if I did. How could you? <laughs> In my defense, that was a while ago. Uh, well, I meant to mention it a few episodes ago, but I forgot. <laughs> so did you just not listen to it, or did you forget? I think I, like, listened to, like, 
a little bit of it. Yeah, it's just like one section of the video because the video is like the entire soundtrack for the the game called Inca. Hmm. Oh, that's right. I was thinking this was the same and I wouldn't have to activate it again, but it is not. Oh, right. You have to do this. Yep. So I guess since I've been full on money for so long, I could start buying those cheat token things. I just have to go get them in all their various locations. All right, so I have to put these out, I guess. For some reason, I was... Whoop. Why did that not work? Is there a uh, certain order to this, or is it because they're not red? I wonder if there's a certain order to it. Okay, blue is staying out. You're not? Did you... Yeah, you activated it again. Okay. What? Did you have to do this last time? I don't think so. Yeah, I think last time you just had to put them all out. They're making it more convoluted. Okay, that was correct. Quick, Robber Link. Which one next? Red. Red. Okay. No, blue. I already put out blue. I thought there was another blue. Oh, that's... Oh, that's a yellow. I mean, there is a blue downstairs, I think. Yay, you may have been right. Oh. I don't have to kill you this time. I would have been the, uh... Further one. You know, the yellow that goes third, but... <laughs> then why didn't you say that one? Hmm? Did you want me to fail? Hey, you said to make a decision quick, not intelligently. <laughs> I only got two brain cells, and they're both fighting for third place right now. <laughs> oh, hello. Oh, look, it's my two brain cells. You're the one that was going to say yellow, so I'm going to kill you first. Ouch. <laughs> I would let you live, but you're trying to kill me. <laughs> which is inconvenient. It's not a problem because I have so much health and so many Bafom dads, but still inc yeah, still inconvenient. Oh, and apparently necessary for level progression. <laughs> this puzzle requires that you lobotomize your friend. <laughs> Alright, do you stand on this one then? Stay. Well, it's not opening that. Uh, was this down before, or was this not here? I don't I, remember. I am uncertain. I could check. But instead, I'm gonna see what's up here. Aha! Uh -huh. Okay, that works. A little bit convoluted. So yeah, what happens if Tricky moves? What do you mean you're not doing it? What? Yeah, I guess it did. Okay. Move the ladder. <laughs> it's like, I'm not doing it. I like this switch. It's my new home. <laughs> All right, another changing flame. All right. Okay, can I see what this does? Oh, it's moving the platform? Does it always come to rest there? I think it was in the middle when you came in. Oh. Alright, I guess it does just rest there then. Alright. Stay. Stay on that. Let me put this out. Yes, that'd be good to do first. <laughs> and now wait. Spin in circles. Jump. All right. There we go, that's one. Not quite two. Whoops. That was a miss. The aiming on this is annoying, which is making it harder. Whoop. Do I need to get closer? 
That might help. Haha. -ha. Nah, not two in a row. I couldn't do it. You failed. <laughs> like, oh god, the first one missed. It's going right full auto. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. But I made it work. Whoop. All right. Hey, you'll be fine. Walk <laughs> it off. I was hoping uh, grabbing ledge would work and not get me hurt. Unfortunately, it still hurt. My tootsies dangled too much. Eh, more of these guys. I didn't think you were that close. Why'd you still hurt? Also, why are the fiery thingies going up? I don't recall those. Yeah, I got nothing. <laughs> oh well. We're here. Ah, uh, tricky. <laughs> ah. It's it's like Fox, while you're going, while you're doing that, I'm gonna go get some laps in. Okay, I'm done. <laughs> what? How'd you get here before, before me? <laughs> Not important. You're just super slow. So I finished my laps and went through the teleporter myself and got here, and then had to wait for you. It's like foxes just take longer to teleport, you know? Yeah. You know, one of those, uh... It's common knowledge, really. <laughs> You're not a native of this planet. We need to do some extra processing in the teleportation system. Yes, clearly. <laughs> Fox needs to register a visa. <laughs> and go through teleportation customs. If that even makes sense. All right, well, I'd say you're going through the customs procedure pretty well right now. <laughs> Imagine that. Anytime you want to, like, travel on an airplane, what you have to do is just beat up the staff. <laughs> I'm sure some people would appreciate the ability to do so. <laughs> Vent out some anger. <laughs> Only the worthy may fly. <laughs> may fly. I wanted to say fly and flight. Or like take flights, but it just kind of came out as only the worthy may flight. Ouch. I don't care. Get me out of here. Wait, so. We delivered the spellstone. And hopefully there will be something like a contextual story cutscene that happens when I move into a certain area. Okay, I was gonna say, cause like, wait, what happens now? There's no Krizoa spirit. Ouch. But while I'm here, should I go and get the one token in the well that's south of here? I guess, while you're here. Yeah. Just to see what it does. And use up the money that I have stored up for no reason. Yeah. Yeah, cause, uh... I guess now you won't have any reason to come back here. Yep. This area is complete. Hopefully it won't take too long to go south because I no longer need to kill things for their seeds. These things. Yeah. Alright, uh, disengage. Uh, not here. It's here. Yay, climbing. <laughs> One moment. Maybe a few moments. Can I go down from here? Because I had to go up to get back. This would be a very quick way because I wouldn't have to go all the way around, but I don't think it's going to let me. Huh. Because I can't get over that little fence at the edge, so hold on. Let me climb up another one of these. Don't. Ouch. He did. Rude. Ah, he's <laughs> still doing. Well, it's a good thing there's health here. Alright. Hop. Skip. 
Jump? No, no jump. Huh. I remember last time when we tried to backtrack, we couldn't because that thing was no longer being lifted. Okay. But now that I came back here, it's lifted again. It's just... Very consistent. Yeah, it's just whenever I try to backtrack through that area, it doesn't work. They gotta force me along the right path. Oh, why are you still here? Why do you still exist? Just to make me suffer? Alright, I believe this is the token well in this area. Yeah. Give me 20 scarabs and I'll give you a cheap token. Alright, fine. See what it does. The frick. Huh. You have collected a cheat token. Why does it have the, uh... Oh, take it to the maze. Okay, why does it have the warp stone on it? Is he a cheater? I guess he... It, it, it's to bribe him? <laughs> well, there's a quarter of the money I needed for that right there. And health. Okay, not more money. Uh, yeah, that's all I need. Okay, back to the main place. I might make a cut if there's nothing interesting, and then hopefully we'll see a cutscene before we have to end the episode that will tell us what we need to do. Indeed. All right, we've made it back. So, no. cutscene? <laughs> yeah, now what? Something gonna happen? Whoop. Oh, I thought they were going to carry it away. <laughs> You're mine now. You belong to my uh, my people. Huh. Oop. Thank you for spawning me right next to the poison shrooms. Very helpful. Yay, we can murder them all. Darn it. I was hoping to get two in one. So are these guys even associated with the Sharp Claws? I don't know. Not now. I should not have saved you. <laughs> uh. Oop, I missed. There we go. Uh, is there any magic near here in case I need any? Oh yeah, there is near where we got the staff in the first place. Yeah. So I could just spam this. All right, is that well, all? I don't know if it's a full refill. Uh, there's like. Uh, is it the one to your right? Is there? Yeah. Wait, where? Uh, well, a dinosaur and a plant thing, I think. I was talking right. about the. To your right. Oh, or... okay. Oh yeah, there. I meant on the other side of this little structure. What the heck? Stop missing! Why? There we go. If I had my blaster, this wouldn't be a problem. I have much better blaster accuracy. All right, all right, I'm here to save you. Oh god, if I get close, I need to hear them scream at me. Yay. All right, uh, do I have to go down here? Is this where the last one is? Or am I going the wrong way? Let's find out. Nope, there's some here. Once okay, there we go. Again, you come to the aid of our tribe. You are a true hero, Fox. Look, fella, I'm not paid enough to keep getting you guys out of trouble. But <laughs> I've got this for you. Yeah, well, th thanks. I didn't bring you money, but I brought you something that can carry it. <laughs> this is the large scarab bag. It holds 200 scarabs. Okay. Yeah, I figured we'd need more scarab capacity in order to get the... Um, the Snowhorn artifact. Oh, yeah. I forgot about that. I've been remembering this entire time, yeah. Now that you've gotten the... Yeah, now that you've got that big scarab bag, you'll need to fill it with scarabs. You should be able to buy something shiny and golden from the store. 
yeah, for those who are playing the game and don't remember that, that's probably a much needed reminder. Yeah. Cause it's it, like, it's like tricky. I'm not here for tourism. <laughs> Why are you telling me this? Yeah. Cause at this point in the game, it's probably been a long time since you visited the shop because why would you bother if you yep. bought everything else you could? All right, it's like 120 or something. So I need a little more. Yeah, that's good. All right, but I think it is about time to end the episode. So I think we will have to leave this here for now. And we will continue this and buy that artifact next time. So, dear viewers, goodbye for now. Goodbye. <laughs>